Today's the day. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. My friend is coming over. Finally, we're connecting. We always connect on the phone, but man, is it hard to see one another. Hi, I'm Lisa Fry, the Catholic Unschooler. And right now is my morning routine. I said my rosary, got ready, folded laundry. Now I'm picking up everything in the house and really leaving those things that the kids that I know that I know that they took out. Sometimes I'm confused and I'm like, well, who took this out? So I am a helping hand. My sink is filled with dishes, not mine, because I wash my dishes. And I mean, some are mine, but like I said, I always wash them. So I will leave those there. And because everybody you know is gonna say, I didn't do it, that's not mine. I'm gonna say, okay, everybody wash seven things. And then I'll be satisfied. Okay, so my house is a mess, is a mess, is a mess, okay? Clean mess, and that's what I'll be doing now. And that's life in the fry home. <laughs> okay, I hope you have been enjoying the videos and seeing our little adventures, and you never really see anybody sitting doing school because we don't. A little tiny bit, a little tiny bit, bit, bit. Enough just to get one page of math, one page of English or online, and various things like handwriting. Uh, you know, remember cursive writing? Remember those days? I don't know. I'm always using cursive. I don't know about you. Always using cursive. I find it very valuable um, and fun. And printing and uh, we learn history all the time, we learn science all the time, uh, geography all the time, all of these things you learn in school because they're in life. Well, what do you know? Okay, so I won't ramble, I'm gonna go clean and then I'll show you the, the, uh, the outcome. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, I thought you would like to hear a little bit out of my book. This is excellent. If you ever want to know the feast days of the Catholic Church and the celebrations, this woman who wrote this book um, really captures it beautifully and, and really settles it down with your family so you can focus. Uh, this is St. Francis of Assisi um, and this his feast day, meaning the day that he died and went to heaven. And then finally, uh, eventually the church d declared him a saint. And we always celebrate the day they died because that's the day they go to heaven. So that is October 4th. So even though that's already passed, um, the church is going to bless the animals. I saw one do it last night. Mine is doing it tonight. We're gonna take in Miffy to get a little blessing. So uh, this much loved saint was the son of a wealthy merchant born in Portsiuncola. Am I saying it right? I don't know. In the 13th century, his name, Francisco, was uh, nicknamed because his mother was French, so his friends called him Little Frenchy. After a carefree life with other well-to-do young men, let me turn my page, <clears throat> he underwent a dramatic conversion experience and vowed himself to God's service. In prayer, he seemed to hear an image of Christ calling from a crucifix in the church of San Damiano, Damiano, saying, rebuild my church. And he took this message literally, building a new church there with his own hands. Disowned by his father, who felt he had humiliated the family, he gathered companions and went to Rome, where they sought permission from the Pope to establish a new religious community, which became one of the great orders of the church, the Franciscans. And that's the bro those are the brothers that you saw the other night, if you can capture them up at the altar. <clears throat> In popular culture, St. Francis has become the patron saint, that means the protector uh, saint of animals, because of his approach to nature, loving the simple, everyday things provided by God and being grateful for them. His feast day, along with that of St. Leonard, is thus associated with the blessing of animals. He is also patron saint of the green movement and all and of all these excuse me and of all those concerned with ecology. A day for arranging a cleanup job at some local beauty spot. Turn up and turn up with plenty of 
bin bags and wearing rubber gloves pick up litter and take it to a dump. Cleaning up a local stretch of river or beach will be much appreciated too. Larger items of rubbish, furniture, electrical appliances can be removed by a local authority, so find out the relevant uh, telephone number or use the internet, a team of friends can get involved with this, or why not a local youth group, confirmation class, or similar. So, that is, oh, and today is, let me see, is this the sixth? Hold on a second. No, tomorrow. Tomorrow will be St. Leonard's Day, and we can celebrate that. So, so to honor St. Francis, you can, when you see a piece of trash on the ground, Pick it up, throw it away, even if it's one thing. So you can remember him and you can ask St. Francis. What I do is I ask St. Francis to please bless and pray for all the animals that are getting killed out in the world for everybody's food, which I can't understand at all. Um, yeah, it's crazy. I was a vegetarian for 19 years. Yes, I was. And... Um, I started eating it because I found this uh, this diet, Eat Right for Your Blood Type, and it said that the sickest patients of this particular doctor were O, vegetarians. And I was coughing so much that I, I thought I needed a lung transplant, honestly. So they said that I needed to eat beef, and I was like, oh my gosh, you're kidding. So I believed in the diet so much that I actually went and had some beef from my neighbor's barbecue. It was so hard, but, um, and it actually did help me. It actually did. So I'm hoping that I can try to be more wiser and not eat that so much. I'm not sure I can bring myself to do it. I haven't been able to eat hamburgers and I don't even know about meatballs. I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to make them with lentils today. So I don't know. I just can't do it. I, I will not eat chicken. I mean, it's really difficult for me. I mean, I'm even thinking this way about fish. It's like, Oh, you know what happened ever since I got Miffy? I see how, how playful he is and how he loves a schedule and how he loves affection and he loves to be rubbed and you know he plays I mean animals play I don't want to eat something that plays okay not at all so now I'm having a really difficult time I will I, I made a declaration the other day to my family I said I want to let everyone know that I am never going to buy pork again and I am never going to make it again I never really did to be honest uh, but mm -mm, I can't, I won't. They're smarter than dogs. They're so, they're so affectionate. It's unbelievable. I just can't do it. They don't want to die. I know God, um, sacrificed lambs. Uh, and that is a sacrifice, right? That is, that is a very serious matter. So I don't think that we need to be eating that for food. Sorry. I think these animals would rather live. You ever see a fish come out of the water? They're not saying, "We we're so excited." Oh, no, they're 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 suffocating, okay? So, I don't know, do I still eat tuna? I have. Does it bother me? Yes, I don't know what to do. I just know how I feel. I don't know if I'm psychotic, but it doesn't seem to be that way. I mean, think about it. It's logic, right? Animals don't want to die. I know that God had the uh, the people eat you know, right before Passover, the animal, I get it. Do we have to do this now? No. Was that everybody's way of eating? I don't know, and I don't really care. I mean, of course, if God, if it's God's will, then I'm okay with it. I'll have to be. And, um, but I know that we have choices here. So I am going, I don't want that blood on my hands. People will say to me, my kids will often say, but mama, what about, you know, they're going to do it anyway. Don't think about it. I'm like, I don't close my eyes like that. I don't, I don't, I don't turn and, and pretend that, that nothing's happening. I can't. I just don't want that blood on my hand. When I was a little girl, my, I went to my, my grandmother's friend's house and they were cooking a lobster. Okay. And I was like about the height of the stove and as soon as they put it in this boiling water, I heard it thrashing around 
and I was horrified. I never had lobster that I know of. Maybe my grandmother gave it to me. I don't know. Did I ever purposely go towards it as I grew? Absolutely not. And I said to my kids last night, call me wacky. I don't care. I want that lobster, that particular lobster. I pray to God that when I get to heaven, I want that lobster to be my pet. Yes, for all eternity. Poor thing. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. Anyway, I don't want to talk about this anymore because I'm very sensitive. I'm going to go cry for a minute. I'll be right back. While I'm giving myself a really good cry, see these meatballs? They're made of lentils. And then today I made some uh, clam-free chowder. Okay, so we have some empty bowls here and some full <laughs> because the chowder that I made, unfortunately, is not kid-friendly. I think I would have liked it as a child, but we do have some empty bowls over there. And we have a full table of a friend here. <laughs> and they brought beautiful flowers. <laughs> and we have beautiful desserts that are going to be put out there on, at the table out in the yard. And we have some beautiful teas and some books that they brought. So we can have some tea and poetry time. Isn't that nice? Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a beautiful book. Look at that, right? They, where do you sell these? Where do they sell them? You can get them at a craft store like Michael's. Oh, really? Yep. Yep. So it's empty, but you can write in them and make your own story. Isn't it nice? So after we clean this up, you are welcome to join us for a little snippet of our tea and poetry time. Video of this. Yeah. Ooh. Here. Got all of our stuff ready. Poetry tea time. And this is made by nuns. Trappist. Here we come a gathering along. Poetry time. Poetry and tea. Oh, now Mrs. it's time. Mrs. Fryberg's yard. <laughs> come with and, uh, us to see <laughs> poetry. <laughs> and we will, what? I don't have a. Enlighten you. Enlighten you. Okay. Our poetry under trees. Yes, <laughs> Our poetry under trees. Our poetry under trees. <laughs> you can so put them on this table. Lovely. Lovely, I say. Oh, it's so pretty. Isn't that nice? Oh, wow. She's got all the books. Yep. All right. The only thing you have to do, and you don't have to do anything, is that we'll go around and just read a poem and sip tea <coughs> and eat treats. Whoa. <laughs> Twist my arm, twist my twist arm. Twist it, twist it. Yeah. Can I sing my song? It's got chamomile. This is really worn out, but it goes. Oh my goodness. It's just water. Do you think we can get this at the library? Falling up? Yeah. I don't see why not. I love it. This song goes like this. This is from my stepmother. Bless us, O Lord, in these thy gifts, which we are about to receive. From thy bounty through Christ our Lord, in whom we do believe. For apples and corn that grow in the morn, for farmers who work all day. For wheat to make the holy host, we thank you, Lord, and pray. Isn't that cute? I love that. Yay. Um, Mom, as one of our things that we're going to read today, yes. You read the exact maneuvers of the championship of X Wing. Where's that? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Those. Oh. Yeah, those Good. are from nuns. Yes, nuns made are. that. Why don't we try it now? Yeah. Let us try. So how should we begin? So our what is it? What is it? Oh gosh. I should we read this book? All right, hold on. You want to read one to us? This one. Chicken eat yeah. people. Like... Sarah's gonna start. Oh. Mmm. Mm. Please don't. I don't eat sugar. Video. Oh gosh, I'm gonna eat that anyway. <laughs> but because a nun made it, it has mm. to be holy. Mm. Good. Wow. You know why? They mm -mm. pray when they bake. They pray when they bake. It's mm. okay. I want you to what are you girls doing? Hmm? Is this poetry tea time? It is. It is. Hmm. We are looking for. Is this what homeschoolers do? What is this? No, we don't learn. <laughs> okay, snowball. And here's a beautiful picture. She has a very wide hat. That's for this one. Oh. Oh. This is, this is a different one. Sun hat. Oh, you're smarter than I am. <laughs> I made you. myself a snowball, as perfect as can be. I thought I'd keep it as a pet and let it sleep with me. I made it some pajamas and a pillow for its head. Then, last night it ran away, but first it wet the bed. <laughs> <laughs> 
Because it melted. I know. That's why I want it. Oh. All right. Man, I'm going to read really that Sun Hat one. Oh, my gosh. Right. I know, right? Oh, the Madelines, too? Those weren't made by the nuns. Oh, what a sweet child is Hannah Hyde. Oh, how thoughtful. Oh, how nice. To buy a hat with a brim so wide, it gives shade to the frogs and the worms and the mice. And there they all are. Getting shaded. All right. Who's you next? Can, why, why don't you read one to yourself? And then, or you can read aloud if you and want. And then if you like, if you think you feel Maybe comfortable. One more. One more. Mm -hmm. I can read Needles two. and pins, needles and pins. Sew me a sail to catch me the wind. Sew me a sew me a sail, strong as the gale. Carpenter, bring out your hammers and nails. Hammers and nails, hammers and nails. Build me a boat to go chasing the whales. Chasing the whales, sailing the blue. Find me a captain and sign me a crew. Captain and crew, captain and crew. Take me, oh take me, to anywhere new. There it is. Chickens eat people. <laughs> I swear it's a boy thing mm -hmm. because Sethi will say things like, I don't know what it is about chickens and boys either. He'll be like, oh, chicken nuggets. <laughs> chickens eat people. This is for all our viewers. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being part of our YouTube family. Thank now, you, let's it eat amazing. it. And the cow. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you don't always have to understand everything in poetry. Sometimes it's just the play on words and you, like the imagery that it creates. So mm -hmm. even if you're not getting it, I didn't drink it. You could just enjoy it. Carefully. Just sip it. Book this show. in it. Yeah. Aww, book written on most songs amazing. Wow. Well, if you read a poem, she's going to record you, but not not your video, but show it. A mountain climbing exploration took us to these distant peaks to, um, when no one's ever been before. Was it my imagine, imagination? Did I feel this ma mountain move? Did I hear a snore? Oh, ah, darn. Hold on. Oh, it's a mouth. Chickens eat people. Oh, it's Hi. a person. Yep. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hey, so these are the Trappistine nuns, and you can see them making the candies that we just showed you. I think they're um, English toffee. That's yeah. my favorite candy, you know, when I ever go to the, the store. We, we, we go to the it store is. all the time. We're going to go there next week, actually. It is. Look at all the nice candies they make. Isn't that nice? Let's see. Thank you, Lord, for such beautiful things. This has been such a lovely time, reading poetry together and stories, enjoying chocolate from holy nuns, and being with friends. Saps rising, grounds warming, grass together, grasshoppers are hatching, hatching out, autumn laid eggs, splitting, young stepping into spring. Grasshoppers hopping, hi. Grasshoppers jumping, far. Vaulting from leaf to leaf, leaf stem to, to leaf. stem, plant to plant. Grass leapers, grass bounders, grass springers, grass soarers, soarers. Leaf frogging, leaf frogging long, long jumping, jumping grasshoppers. grasshoppers. <laughs> Sounds like a voice is coming from absolute no. I will never forget. I'll see my forget. children. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, I said it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that. I love stuff Dear like that. I will never see my children. They will never gaze on me. All have died. When they're emerging next July, so, so it, it must be. be. Yet when they behold the home, I'm digging now for their protection. Safe and snug, far underground, they'll, they'll recognize, recognize my, my deep, deep affection. affection. When they hatch and find a caterpillar, stung and paralyzed, left by me, for them to eat, they'll, they'll know as well that I was wise. When they learn I dragged it there, in spite of every interference, weeds and rocks, and thought, what is it? Thieving, thieving beetles, they'll, they'll discern my perseverance. perseverance 
while cocooned, over. While cocooned, they pass the winter. Safe from snow and ice and chill. They'll perceive. And thank me for my formidable, formidable digging, digging skill. By the time they're ready next July to climb up from their cells and break the burrow seal and fly away. My young will know me well. When they care for their own children, never to be looked upon, they'll feel my love in replica and know that they in turn by the mother digger wasp whose, whose face and form they never saw. Okay, we're gonna do this in my favorite theme. Want me to record? Actually, your favorite melody, hold it. Your favorite what melody. I say? Theme. Oh, <laughs> that's like Christmas. You know why? Because yeah. I always have it. It's like my theme in my videos. All right, ready? Three, two, one, zero. I was born in a fine old editor's. Wait, what has it gone? <laughs> I was born in a fine old edition of Schiller. Well, I started life in a private eye thriller. Where book love likes to dwell in these dusty bookshelves. Wait, how's it go again? Bookshelves. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, wait, what? Where book lies, who dwell in these dusty bookshelves. Is that how we did it? I don't remember. Hurry up. I was born in a fine old edition of Schiller. Well, I started life in a private eye thriller. Where book lies, lies who dwell in, in these bookshelves. Shows. Was it? I don't remember. Oh, come on. We did oh. a good job. We don't want That's to okay. lose it. Just start. Again, just uh, later, later on, we log in. Okay. Uh, later we log in. No, I remember. Later on, I log in. Scott's work, volume 50. Yeah, that's how we did it. Later on, I log in. Scott's work, volume 50. While I pass my... Uh, we are Great book job. lies who dwell in these dusty bookshelves. Later, I lodged in Scott's work, volume 50. Okay, just past my youth and Agatha Christie. We are book lice attached despite contrasting past. One day, while in search of a new place to eat, he fell down seven shells where we happened to meet. Where boys who chew on the book finding glue, we honeymooned in a old guidebook on Greece. And this Conan Doyle, he can. <laughs> For his Keats and his Conan Doyle, he pined for his Keats. Where book lays fine made despite different tastes. Taste. So we set up our home inside. Said Fletcher. Is she paying attention? Excuse me, Lisa. <laughs> if you can't pay attention, then All right, you're going fine. out in the hall. <laughs> Isn't that nice? So my friends left. And it was a blessed time. And now I have to go and try to find a rabbit under a bed. In a half an hour, he's going to get his little blessing from St. Francis. So let me go find him. Okay. Okay. It took all this time. It must have been like at least 10 minutes, 15 minutes to capture him, Miffy. I know he was sleeping and all that, but he gave us a run for our money. Let's go get him blessed. Thank you, St. Francis. Here, don't drop him, please. Five minutes. All right. Oh, that was terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we come, a cal caroling. Oh, I'm very annoyed right now. Oh, that was terrible. I'm really annoyed right now. Okay, here we go. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be a safeguard against the wiles and wickedness of the devil. Oh, restrain him, O God, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin and destruction of souls. Amen. Oh, it's a miracle. There's no road work. Wow, no ah, I knew it was around here somewhere, all that work. Oh, yeah. There it is. It's not over yet. Bless yourself, Catholic Church. Oh, you'll see people.
people with their animals. Um, wait. God's house. Always bless yourself in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Amen. So everybody's out with their pets. Usually there's more, so I don't know how many there'll be today, but I, more people are coming. I think we're going to stay in the car because it is a little chilly and I don't want me to get all afraid of the, uh, the dogs. Oh. Okay, the priest is here. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Getting Miffy ready. Let's <laughs> go into here. Oh. I see the priest. Okay. No, no, it's not that big. Here, yeah, why don't you hold it close to you? Okay. <coughs> yeah. I don't, I don't want to expose to him to all the dogs. Oh. I don't want to expose oh, him to all the dogs. Oh, how cute. Everybody's here with all their animals. How nice. That's me. Aww. Poor cat. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see Miffy. It's okay, baby buns. You gonna get your blessing? <laughs> the animal of God's creation we have in the skies, the earth, and the sea. They share in the fortunes of human existence and have a part in human life. God, who comforts his gifts to, on all living things, has often used the service of animals or made them symbolic reminders of the gifts of salvation. Animals were saved from the flood and afterwards made a part of the covenant with Noah. The Paschal Lamb brings to mind the Passover sacrifice and the deliverance from the bondage of Egypt. A giant fish saved Jonah. Ravens brought bread to Elijah. Animals were included in the repentance and joy of humans. And animals shared in Christ's redemption of all God's creation. We therefore invoke the divine blessing of this on these animals. But we do so, let us praise the Creator and thank Him for setting us over other creatures of the earth. Let us also ask Him that Remembering our human dignity, we may walk always in His love. Our answer to the to the psalm is, O oh Lord, our, our God, how wonderful Your name in all the earth! O oh Lord, our God, how wonderful Your name in all the earth! O oh Lord, our Lord, how glorious is Your name! over all the earth. You have exalted your majesty above the heavens. O oh Lord, our God, how wonderful is your name in all the earth. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O oh Lord, our God, how wonderful is your name in all the earth. You, gave, you have given him ruler over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yes, and beasts of the field, the birds of the, of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. O oh Lord our God, how wonderful you live in all the earth. God created us in place and place us on this earth to be the stores of all living things, and so proclaim the glory of the Creator. Let us then praise God, saying, Blessed be God forever. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord, who created the animals and gave us the ability to train them to help us in our work. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, who gave us food for animals to replenish our energies. Blessed be God forever. 
Blessed are you, Lord, who for the sake of our comfort give us domestic animals as companions. Bless us, be God forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, who show us a sign of your providence, as your son told us, by came for the birds of the air. Bless us, O God, forever. Let us pray. O God, the author of giving and giver of every gift, animals also are part of the way you provide help for all of our needs and labors. We pray through the intercession of Saint, of Saint Francis of Assisi that you will make available for, uh, for our use the things we need to maintain a decent, decent human life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now he's blessing them with holy water. <laughs> Sarah, excuse me. Oh, that's nice. Now let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father. Look at the dog. Look at the dog. Look at the buffalo. Look at him. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they're all so cute. Let's go David, he's all set for the year. Woo! He's got his blessings, his blessings. Now we're gonna say a prayer. We always come here and we say a prayer for my husband, her father, and his papa. And we'll also say a prayer for our subscribers. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thank you, my mother. Okay, Miffy, you're all set. You're okay, buns. Isn't this a cute little place to sit? Oh, yeah. oh boy. Okay. Thank you, God, for our blessing on our beautiful animals and that the church even cares at all. Yay, look at all the people that showed up. Pretty good. <sighs> now I can rest. Now I can rest and say our animal has been blessed it's by a priest who represents Jesus on the earth. Because why? Because Jesus did that himself. He instituted priesthood, the priesthood at the Last Supper. That's what that was all about. All right. Well, not, that's not what all it was about, but that was one of the things that happened. A little late. Oh, oh, here we man. come, a caroling with Miffy all blessed. Dun, dun, dun. my arm and his beating his chest. So now, when I leave the church, I always bless myself in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. This is Friday night, so there's confession, there's a Spanish mass. And it's just nice, you know, you can go and sit and you can have adoration where they put the the communion now when they put Jesus out in the Holy Eucharist. See all the wet spots? That's the whole street one day was all dug up right there. It was amazing. It was really something to see. These guys are really working hard. So every time I go by this house, I always say in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost because two little boys lost their lives in a fire there. So your prayers are good in all time because God is in all time. He's in the past, he's in the future, he's in the present. So your prayers right now can go to something of the past. Okay, we're going into the Christmas tree shop to find Sarah a costume. Which I'm betting her a dollar of, that they're not gonna have it. Here. Of, Dorothy. she already looks, yep, this is the clue. Dorothy, so let's go in. Wait, well, you cut the part out and say, comment down below what you think I'm gonna be, and then save it. Oh, oh my gosh. All right. Ooh, smell. Mmm. Hey, listen, can you tell me if. Oh. I'm scarred. Why? I always get uh, splinters in my tongue. Splinters. Are you guys causing trouble in giving splinters to people? That's not very nice. No, seriously, I'm not even joking every single time. Right that way. Oh, thanks. Oh, you call freezing. Lucky. No, <laughs> no. That's what they call Oh, I love it. Yes, Look how cute like this stuff is. If you ever went to Canada. Oh. 
Can I, can oh, I have the best cereal? So are you saying this is for the chicken lady? Yeah. <gasps> Isn't that nice? My baby's okay. thinking Whoa, of you, baby. Michelle. I'm going to show you. These are adorable yeah, stuff. So oh my <laughs> goodness. Oh, I love this. Oh, poor animals. They always get the short end of the stick. Oh. What cute stuff. It's still natural. Wow. Wait, what is it? Really nice. And all things oh, give things. Oh, look. Wait, is this Eating bark? Nice yeah, it's the bark. Oh, whoa, look, 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 look. It's a, it's a pear, but it still has like the bark on it. It's still natural. It's still oh, natural. Oh, it's the tree. That's yeah. so cool. It is cool, but look at it. 89 cents. Ooh, and all things give thanks. We'll do a couple oh of these. Oh my gosh, I just broke it. Oh, wonderful. One, two, this is so cute. three. Four. This is really cool. Wait, what? Look, all things give that. Yeah. I know it's only oh, 89 cents. Stuff. Ew. That is just the weirdest thing. It's a tree with eyeballs hanging. Is, there, is this like weird or what? I can't tell you how much I love this. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. Nice hat. This is my friend. Wonderful. Wonderful. This is my friend. This is for my friend, Michelle, from Chickens by the Lake. Why, you like those? You mean me? I hate those boots. They're like really sweet. Oh, you like those? They should get yeah, like this out from How much is it? How much is that? Sure. Two's 29. They have a smaller one? We don't need such a big one. Well, the Advent boxes, but I don't really like those ones. We had one that we used all of their lives. And this would probably be better because all the little, um, the little knobs fell off. That's kind of cute. We'll see. We need a new one. I use mine as a spice rack now. Hey, Sarah, look. You think this is better than the knobs? Because look, oh you, you go up. Oh my gosh, I thought we were never going to find one again. I know, but is this a nice kind? Yeah. Why? Because I like it. it. I don't know. And I, can't I probably have it on the back. Can I, use, like, can I, can I like, tape this together and use it as a stocking? <laughs> uh -huh. Looks like a, like a purse or something. Wait, what is it? I think they're going to have them somewhere around. Like like, let's keep looking. I don't, I'm not really crazy about that advent box. <gasps> Wait, what is this for? Oh, put it as a mustache. This doesn't even work. <laughs> look at Jesse, look, as a mustache. <laughs> a little bizarre. Or how about it as your hair? Look. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> creepy. Like, it feels really good. Feels like you can just squish it, but it can't. Oh, it feels nice. really nice. Very nice. No, it, no, no, it doesn't work. You just stick it onto a window. I know. All right, we're gonna look for an advent box. It kind of works. I like this. I know oh, it's not really pretty. Wait, what's this? Now let's look around more. Oh, I like Ooh, this. letters to Santa right here. Selling this. They're selling this for two hundred dollars. Yes, you buy this. <gasps> two hundred dollars. Yeah. Isn't that cute? <gasps> Wait, so it's fake. <gasps> no, this particular one. <clears throat> You could actually okay. put that outside and all the kids you in the neighborhood. You just take the whole thing out all the kids. All right. I'm so excited. You know, Look at all the Christmas stuff. Yay. Hi, everybody. Just take them We've all We've been waiting them. for you. All right. Yeah. We're looking for the Advent boxes. Please tell me there's other kinds. Oh, I don't want that other kind. I don't really like it very much. Okay. This is like my nightmare. I don't know why this, this is scary. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm ready. Is it a football player one? This is a soccer player. Oh, a Can't soccer. Can't see the soccer. Hey, yo, Kenneth, oh. how you doing? I never knew you had blonde hair. <laughs> oh, I like these. How cute. This is actually scary. Why? I don't like the teeth. Okay. Oh, it, it, I know, it's Listen, honestly really scary. Listen, we need to find a good advent box. But I don't really like that one. I love it. It's good. <sighs> hmm. I, I, we can't really that? open it. Oh, oh I, I have that. I have this. that. I have that exact thing. Oh. Yeah. You can help us build a snowman, and you can uh, decorate it with that. Oh my gosh! Oh whoa! You want to be the snowman? Oh, it looks like Miffy. That feels like disgusting. It looks like Miffy. It's unexpected. Oh, it feels cute. <laughs> oh wow! I love. Oh, I'm sorry. I love that. Look at he's oh, looking gosh, in the window. Oh gosh! Is this supposed to be like this? No, that's broken. Oh, no, no, no! All right, let's can keep looking. Look at wow! Look, look at you can paint your own. Oh, yeah, and it tells you what Sarah, it looks look. like. This is. Somebody already took it out. Oh, wow. Oh, well, they really work too. Well, kind of. Really? This one does. Uh, what does this That's mean? cool. There's huh. no mouth. Huh. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you can um, color them yourself. Yeah. That's Wait, this nice. one has a musket. 
Oh wait. Oh, oh my god. Wait, what? They're not even on. This is like creepy. Creepy. It's like those. What is this? Things. What is this? This oh. is not the mouth. Oh wow. What? Look at this, this thing right really really cool. here. Hey. Not the mouth. That's because it is. Yeah, look at the sign. You say witch like it's a bad thing. Oh no, it's really a great oh, thing, right? Boo. Alright, let's go. Well, I'm not gonna buy that count that thing now. Wait, I know I saw that. Oh look, it has lights. It has lights. I can turn it on. Oh, it does? Look, oh, no, candy corn lights. Okay, I feel like <laughs> really cool. Aww. Oh, well, I don't know. I feel like I'm really cool. Look, see oh, no I'm evil, so hear no evil, and it's supposed to be speak oh, no wow, evil. Oh wow, this is heavy. Uh, they don't want to say heavy. speak no hollow. evil because they want to speak oh. it. <laughs> you know what? Sure, it's pretty oh. cool. Oh, hey, look. Remember? There's Jesse as a skeleton. <laughs> I think that's anybody as a skeleton. <laughs> My boyfriend. You know what? This is a girl, so. Wait, skeletons now have hair? At, um, where? Wait, is this yes. a boy or a girl? Like, can you tell? It's your ghost eating. It's a friend. Besides the church bells, this is another sound that I love. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's pretty. That'd be nice in the in the mud room. Oh, hello. Is it Halloween? Has not even begun yet? Oh, these are cute. Mama, come here. This one honestly feels so good. Feel this one. Feel it. These smiles. All right. Okay, we gotta go to the other place because I know they're not no, gonna have all of them. I'm still up. looking. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I think Jesse is. Uh, good night. <laughs> no way. Is it a little squirrel? No, it's a squirrel. Oh. Wait, a white squirrel? Oh, it looks it's like a Just cut off it's the tail. <laughs> this part looks like Mivy, but then this. Yeah, just right? cut off the tail. It's a bunny like, squirrel. Take off the. Squirrel. Wait, is this a dog? These are cute. All right, let's go. Yes. Okay, so we could not find any costumes in the Christmas tree shops. So now off to another Halloween store. It says no one leaves. And it says sorry we're closed. It says sorry oh, I we're dead. Like this. I like this. Yeah. We're all dead. Look so Hi, honey. Hi, cute. Hi, sweetheart. They should really learn to clean up their face before they go to work. Okay, here's the winner. Yay, I love Dorothy. I would think that the shiny one would be yeah, more looks like money. It right now, see? <laughs> all right. My discounted grocery store was going to close in literally four minutes we booked it in we booked it out we're all set we got bread woohoo